Thank you for purchasing a Triton 1500 vacuum system powered by an air start diesel engine. This video is intended to give you a quick reference to the safe operation, maintenance, and troubleshooting of this equipment. The Triton 1500 system is based on a liquid ring vacuum pump. It is intended to be used to collect your product in a separate vacuum tight container such as a vacuum box, a cuttings box, or a cone bottom tank. Here is a shot of Triton units being used to collect crude oil tank bottoms into vacuum boxes. If dusty product is being collected, a Triton bag house should be used to clean up the airflow before it reaches the pump. Contact Triton for more information. First, we will begin with two slides identifying the various components of this unit. Feel free to pause the video for a moment on each slide so that you can familiarize yourself with each part of the system. And while you are studying these slides, remember that you should never point the vacuum intake hose at anyone. If the vacuum hose does latch onto someone, immediately open the vacuum brake valve to relieve the vacuum. Before the Triton system is actually started, there are some preparations that need to be done. First, make sure that the diesel fuel tank is full of fuel. Here is the level gauge and the filler cap. Diesel engines can be difficult to restart if allowed to run out of fuel. Next, as with any engine, check the oil level with the dipstick located here. Also, check the air filter. There is an oil level in the air filter and you can see the technician checking the sight glass for any level and dropping the pan here. Here is a side view of the air filter and the emergency shutdown device or ESD which should never be used for routine shutdowns. Next open the primer valve between the water tank and the liquid ring pump. Here is a top view showing the location of that valve in the 3 quarter inch line. Leave this primer valve open until after the engine is started. Hook up a water supply to the water tank and let it fill. The water tank holds approximately 250 gallons and has an automated fill valve that will regulate the water level to the center of the sight glass. If you don't get a level, or if the level is above the sight glass, there is a problem that must be remedied before continuing. Do not run the unit without water in the tank and make sure the pump is allowed to prime during fill. Next, hook up the air supply line to the air starter on the engine. A minimum of 80 to 90 PSI is necessary and don't forget the safety pins on the Chicago coupling. Make sure the intake hose is secure. Although an actual hose is not shown here, the technician is mimicking connecting a 4 inch camelocked hose to the intake on the cyclone. You are getting close to starting the engine. Open the 6 inch vacuum brake so that there is no load on the engine when it is started. Then start the engine with the starter handle. Next, engage the clutch. After 30 seconds or so, close the 3 quarter inch primer valve on the water line. Ease the throttle up to 2000 RPM, which is the intended running level. Now you're ready to vacuum. Close the vacuum brake and the airflow will begin at the end of the intake hose. Shutdown is just the opposite. Open the vacuum brake to remove the load from the engine. Throttle down to idle. Disengage the clutch. And pull the engine shut off lever. It's a good idea to let the engine idle for three to five minutes before full shutdown. The cyclone on the intake is designed to capture any product that might get pulled over from the primary collection vessel such as the vac box. If the sight glass shows a level, the cyclone content should be drained off through the valve into a suitable container. If the motor and the pump and the drive belt connecting them are turning, you should have vacuum. Check to make sure there are no leaks in the system from perhaps poorly fitting cam locks or loose wing nuts. Double check that the primer valve was open during fill and closed after startup. 
Finally, drain and refill the water tank periodically, at least weekly, to get a clean supply of water for the pump. That's the basics. Refer to your operating manual for more details and contact Triton if you have any other questions.